hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching if you're new here my name is maria i do diys hauls reviews and more so if you love to craft and do budget friendly home decor you should definitely subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified every time i upload in today's video i will be participating in the trash to treasure dollar tree collabs with eight other beautiful talented ladies this is hosted by funny creations by fabi and co-hosted by april from april alaya shares so I'm going to leave all the information down in the description box so you can definitely go check them out and show them some love. So thank you so much for the invitation and now let's craft. I will be sharing with you guys six farmhouse DIYs made with Dollar Tree items and using Trash to Treasure. For the first DIY, I will be using this Dollar Tree Organizer Basket and I will be painting this gray with a Waverly Chalk Paint and Elephant. I sent some paint off with a Dollar Tree Sand Sheet. I made it look rustic and old. I am making a bottom piece to this tray so if I want to add anything that has like little legs or small, it won't fall. And to do that, I'm using this piece of Dollar Tree sign. I used the other half in some other DIY. This was almost a perfect fit. I did have to cut a little bit off with scissors. And then I did end up painting over it with the Apple Barrel acrylic paint in white. I am going to distress a little bit of the edges. And for the handles, I use... 10 beads in total, 5 on each side, and I painted these with the same Waverly Chalk Paint and Elephant. Then I tied them to each side. I will be adding little legs to this, and I'm using 4 beads. And that is it for this decorative tray. You can decorate it however you like. For my second DIY, I will be using a Trash to Treasure item. I used this pasta sauce mason jar and I absolutely love how this turned out. I'm going to remove the paper or this tag um, sticker, no, <laughs> the label, there you go. I'm going to remove the label and then I'm going to paint the yard with a Waverly chalk paint and elephant. I only gave this one coat of paint. To make this more farmhouse, I'm adding some juice string around the top. I wanted to incorporate beads to this so in one piece of juice string I added one bead in one side and two beads to the other side and then add it to the jar. The last thing I will be doing is adding this lavender mix bush I got from Walmart. And that is it guys. I love how this turned out. This was so easy and inexpensive to make. For my third DIY, I will be doing this sign. I will be reusing this home sign and I'm going to be reusing this picture frame I got a while back from Michaels. For the greenery, I will be using two stems of this eucalyptus bush pick I got from Walmart. And for the letters, I will be using this sticker letter sheet I got from Dollar Tree. I'm also recycling this back piece of a picture frame and I'm using it for this wood frame. It is kind of big so I do have to cut it a little bit. Before I glue it to the frame, I'm going to glue the home sign. I am leaving the picture frame the color it is. It is going to match the rest of my DIYs. Next, I'm going to add where you are loved no matter what with these Dollar Tree sticker letters. I have a love and hate relationship with these stickers. They are good because they are a small size. So if you want to use like small letters on a sign, this will be great. But they are really hard to like work with. They can mess up quick. You just have to be careful when you use these.
after i am done doing all of that i'm adding the greenery and i'm using this ribbon i took off from a valentine sign i wish dollar tree carried this beautiful ribbon um i don't know if they do but yeah so all i did was make a bow i am actually using all of this to cover that hole that this frame has this was a picture frame so it had like a little clip i did remove to use it like this i glued one stem on each side and then glued the bow in the middle and that is it for this diy my fourth diy is one of my favorites i love how this turned out it does not even look like it's a wine bottle <laughs> it kind of does anyway for this diy i will be using this wine bottle that i use in my wine and craft video i have been saving it for a while i'm going to start off by removing the label and the little red part that the bottle has and then I'm going to give it one coat of this Waverly chalk paint in Elephant. I will be adding the word family at the bottom of the bottle and I'm using this stencil thing I got from Dollar Tree. I am going over it with white paint. You have to be careful. I forgot that this had more words so I accidentally went over the thank and i did paint it a little bit but i went over it and fixed it with a gray to make this more farmhouse i'm adding shoestring to the top and bottom My fifth DIY is this beautiful sign. I will be using this paper I removed from a Dollar Tree wall decor. I used the frame in my previous video. I will be recycling this piece of shelf. My mom gave me this. She said here you can use them for your crafts. I will be adding some greenery to this so i'll be using this greenery i got from walmart i am also using these beads which i will be using for the handle part i am going to paint this with a waverly chalk paint and elephant now that i think about it i didn't have to paint the whole thing since i am adding the paper this board has some like holes already but they're not all the way through the board so I'm going to finish them off with my drill and I'm only doing two of them because that is where I'm going to add the handle or the beads. It did remove a little bit of the paint but that's okay I'm going to go over it with some paint. To add the paper, I will be using some Mod Podge I got from Dollar Tree. I will be adding some more Mod Podge all around and on top, especially the edges. To hang my sign, I will be adding 9 beads to a piece of juice string. I will be adding the string through the holes and after that I made several knots to secure it and because this is a heavy piece and also the hole I made was kind of big so I had to do several knots. I took off two stems of the eucalyptus greenery pick I got from Walmart and I'm going to add two on each side. Then I'm going to glue this bow I made of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon.
My sixth and final DIY will be this small end table. I will be making this out of four large paint sticks and these two other shelves. These are smaller than the one I used in my fifth DIY, but they come from the same organizer or shelf thingy that my mom gave me. The first thing I will be doing is cutting the top piece of the paint stick, the little handle part off. And to do that, I am taping all four together so it will be easier and I can cut them all together. And I'm using my hand saw to cut these. Then I'm going to use this drill to make holes before I start drilling this because I'm going to show you here. Um, I did mess up one of them. I didn't do a hole first so then when I drilled it, it broke. I guess these paint sticks aren't sturdy enough for these, um, what are these called? Screws, sorry. So I did have to get another paint stick and cut it and make a hole first before I put the screw in. To make it extra sturdy, I will be adding some of my wood glue and then I will screw the paint stick to this board. I will be repeating the same process to all four paint sticks. I am not gonna lie, I felt like Bob the Builder while I was doing this. Now I will be screwing, <laughs> now I will be adding the top piece to it. And I made sure that the black part of the board was the top. Before I paint the legs with the antique wax, I'm going to go over the blue letters with the white acrylic paint. It's getting closer to midnight. I try to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. Once I am done painting it, I did flip the table around so I can paint the bottom of the top black so it, it's all black. I didn't paint the bottom one because you won't be able to see it. And I'm also adding a little bit of black to the edges of each paint stick just to stress in it a little bit more so it can match and have a little bit of black to it. And that is it guys i hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to go check out the other ladies videos i will leave the link to the playlist down in the description box so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and see you next time bye